Welcome back everybody and today I'm gonna take you to a magical place in Tokyo called Asakusa. First I'll show you all the popular stuff and then I'll show you all the secret stuff that we kind of discovered on accident. First thing to know is Asakusa is heavily trafficked, especially on the weekends. So if you're ever going to visit, I suggest going on a weekday instead, just so you can be a little less close with your neighbors. Even if you do only make it on the weekends though, it's pretty great because it's bright, it's colorful, it smells like food everywhere. Nakamise is a street that leads up to Sensoji Temple and it is completely lined with street vendors and food and all the great stuff. Also in this area are kimono rentals. Take this opportunity to pray at Sensoji Temple, watch a ceremony or get your fortune for 100 yen. You will be suffering from disease. Your request will not be granted. Lost article will not be found. You are always attacked by danger. You deserve that, yeah. <laughs> and get depreciated by other people. You can't get through everything. Because you're healing me. <laughs> when spring comes, you may meet a happiness. One happiness. Hopefully you are more fortunate than me. Also, if you want a personalized tour, you can get these strapping young gentlemen to wheel you around and tell you all the facts. Honestly, this is totally my low-key dream job. Make sure you explore all the side streets, the shops, there's so much stuff! Oh, it's like you look like your grandma. No, it looks just like you. <laughs> get a crepe, because there are crepes everywhere. I saw more crepes in Tokyo than I ever have in my entire life living anywhere else. And here we see Mitsu breaking his diet with a crepe. It's okay, he doesn't care. He just walks on with swag. <laughs> Near the end of the day, you can enjoy a beautiful glowing skyline view from the Asakusa Cultural and Tourism Building. It's free, it's pretty, and it makes stellar Instagram material. If you want to get a higher view and you're willing to pay a couple of bucks, there's a bar at the top of this building, right next to this building with a giant golden turd on top of it. Apparently the architecture of that building is supposed to resemble a beer, and the golden bit is like foam on top, but I don't drink, so <laughs> to each his own interpretation. Before 9 p.m. we caught conveyor belt sushi at Ganzo Sushi. This is the perfect place because there's no cover charge, no mandatory drink, and because the plates come at you one by one, you can control exactly how much you eat and exactly how much you spend. It's perfect. And squid! They had squid! I love squid! It's so beautiful. After the sun is set and the crowds are gone, Asakusa becomes one of my favorite places. So even if you've already been in the daytime, head right back to Sensoji Temple because this place at night is something else. The temple's closed but lit up so it glows! It is amazing! And after the market is closed, you can see murals along all the shutters. Instigate, go! Ow! Howie! So this is us taking photos at about 9.30 p.m. The shops are closed, the murals are out and well lit, there's still a couple people walking around, and this is us at about 1 a.m. At this point, all the lights except for the security lights right in front of the shops are on, so the temple's completely dark. Not good for pictures, but the vibe, man! The vibe! Oh, it was insane! There was no one there! That's a lie, there were like five people there, <laughs> including us. It was awesome. If there is one thing that this place taught me, it's explore places at night. Obviously be safe and bring a buddy and all that. But anyways, that was Asakusa. Thanks for joining. Hit the subscribe, hit the bell, like, you know the drill. This is one new thing. You got insults from others. Are you reading the English? <laughs> oh, actually, this is I say there's English. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to translate and shit.